Today we're going to look at an activity to make a model of human blood and look at the four different components that make it up, the red blood cells, white blood cells, blood plasma, and platelets. Now this activity does require a little bit of preparation. We're going to have to make our polymer spheres ahead of time. So what I'm going to do, uh, Nolan, I'm just going to add one teaspoon of the polymer spheres to this container. And it doesn't look like a lot now, but once we add water, like I say, they'll grow, they'll expand, and we'll be able to use them in our activity. So I'm going to pour in three cups of water to that, and I'll just have you add about ten drops of food coloring here. And we will let this sit and let those polymer spheres expand. This is going to give our blood that nice red color. So I've got some spheres here that I made up last night, save a little time today. Uh, this is what they'll look like when they're finished and this is what we're going to use for our students in our activity. Alright, well we have our polymer spheres that we made ahead of time and we've got all of our other materials here to do our blood model. And we're going to look at the different types of materials that actually make up human blood. It's not just one type of cell, it's actually multiple types of things in our blood, and we're going to look at those today. So, Nolan, I'm going to have you measure us out about two and a half cups of those polymer spheres. You see that now they're red because of the food coloring to give them that blood cell color. Some of them may spill over the table, but that's okay. We can collect them up later. And the good thing about these, when they dry, they shrink back to the smaller size as well. There's your few extras. And we're going to add just a few of these ping pong balls, maybe about four of them will be good. So we're going to throw those in. And if you can measure us about one and a half cups of water there, that's going to be the next thing that we want to add. And the last thing that we need is one of those straws, but we're going to actually take that blue straw and we're going to cut it into one inch pieces. So just kind of cut that up into our container here. So now we, what we end up with is a container with several different things in it. And we'll look at what each of these represents here in just a moment. So now that we've mixed our four different materials together, we've got our polymer spheres, we've got the ping pong balls, We've got these pieces of straw that we cut up a little bit earlier, and we've got the water that we poured in to represent the four different components that make up human blood. And Nolan, based on what you know about the blood, what would you assume that the polymer spheres represent? Red blood cells. Yeah, these are the red blood cells, so that means these would be the white, blood cells. white blood cells. And they have that important job of fighting infection, keeping our bodies healthy. Of course, the red blood cells deliver the oxygen and the nutrients to all the cells in our body. We've got the blood platelets here. That's what the straw is representing. And these help our bodies by causing blood to clot, basically if we scrape ourselves or cut ourselves or something like that. And then the last thing in there, the water represents the plasma, which is the liquid part of the blood, and that just transports everything along through our veins, our arteries, and our capillaries throughout our body. So being multicelled organisms, it is important to understand that as humans, each of our body systems is made of different organs. Each of these organs is made of different types of cells that do different jobs in our body. And that's something that's very important for our students to understand through this simple model of the blood. 